seconds until minions spawn. Hate is a child's word. I did. My mic was muted throughout that entire intro, but that's okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> I initially thought it was against the Akali, but it turns out I'm actually against a Volley Bear in the top lane. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me a bunch of questions regarding gangplank builds and stuff, so I'm going to see if I can go more in depth about that in this video as well, and playing that laning phase versus somebody who traditionally can shit on squishier champions like gangplank or... Or even a set, honestly. Something like that. Something that's very squishy. So, I'm going to be showing how to beat a matchup that's as cheesy as Volley Bear. And, yeah. Hopefully some good stuff can come. Make sure you guys keep leaving your comments down below. I do see them all. And I do think about them. Whoa, okay. Let me fix that. I don't know why I have Quick Cast on. If I knew it was Volley Bear, I would have taken Conquer. I just doesn't I wasn't expecting it whatsoever. Right now just going for the only queuing when I have my grass procs up. Since I know that's when that'll net me the most use of my mana. Both Scorch and uh Both Scorch and Corrupting Pot and Grasp. So all very good things to note when you're playing Gangplank. You want to get the most out of every Q. By the way, runes is pretty standard. I have Grasp at the moment, and secondary I actually have Scorch and Transcendence because Scorch is just such a good trading rune that's very under uh, undermined, underestimated by other players. When it really has a lot of potential as a rune. Okay, got rid of his passive. Now I can kill him. Just gotta regen up a little. Both my mana and my health. So what I'm doing right now is I'm slow pushing the wave. I fucked up my Q there. That was the. Whoa. Well, I didn't need a flash for that. Win minions would have finished him off, but it's alright. Okay. Okay, he's gonna guide me, then it's okay. To walk up. Sorry, I was trying to explain a bunch of things there, and then I just got ganked. And I was like, shoot, what do I do now? Anyways, so the way I played that fight, I knew I have a huge wave, and I was slow pushing the wave for that very reason. I knew that Lee Sin could only be topside. If you know you're winning a matchup, or you know you're going to win the trade, and you know that you want to play aggressive, the key is to get them low, and slow push the wave. Because when you slow push the wave, you're making it easy for you to be able to 1v1 or 1v2. And there, as you can see, that was mostly minion damage. I did some damage as well, but... Majority of that was minion damage. If Leeson comes top again and they have no flashes, I'm confident I can kill both of them. Okay. Oh, he had a ward. If he didn't have a ward, I would have gone out, I think. It was just unfortunate timing on that. He will be able to shove this out in time. I needed to land a barrel on... Both of them with a Q and a passive reset. If I get a passive reset at any point there, pretty sure I kill both. I'm just gonna have for boots and a cloth. I already have my core items. I'll miss out on this wave, which is a little unfortunate, but I at least get that kill so that Volley Bear misses out on XP as well in gold. And that's what I'm looking at right now. And if Lee Sin tries to gank top again and I kill him, I get those doubles back. So ultimately, this is all a five head play to get my buffs back. Now, my mid lane's doing even for himself, my bot lane's even. Uh, jungle is pretty even, so this is a pretty even game. I'm just the only one with kills, really. 
Again, I'm going to try and slow push this wave since I know I have the advantage on him. However, his passive is up. The way you check is by clicking on Volley Bear, and since you don't see that it's on cooldown, that means his passive is up. So it is good to also get Executioners into this matchup. I haven't played in a while, so I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> kind of forgot about that Executioner, so I'll look to build that soon. have my ult. Now, whenever I hit level 6, I like to do a quick uh, check around, a quick swipe around on the map to see if there's anybody who really needs my help. Ah! Oh, if I... Damn, I misplayed that. I misplayed that. Uh, uh, okay, let me explain really quick because my thoughts are a little bit out of order. I misplayed that because I did everything perfectly, and that's how I misplayed in that I was thinking to myself, I, if I reset my passive on Lee Sin twice, I can kill him there. Because I know Volley Bear has passive, so I can't kill him. But if I do it on Lee Sin, he'll 100% die. Now, I did reset my passive twice by placing two barrels on top of each other, queuing the barrel, and then autoing him twice. However, that second auto attack, I should have kited back to my minions and waited for him to queue, and then walk back in and auto him, and then he dies. If I do that, 100%, I kill him there. But because I greeted for that second auto, that second reset auto, thinking I would kill him, that ended up guaranteeing his Q to hit on me. So I ended up dying. So misplay on my part. What's good is whenever you play Gangplank, you recognize your own mistakes as well. It's a very key component. If you don't recognize your own mistakes, and you just go for blaming on your team, then you're probably never going to climb. That's why it's good to instantly recognize where you go wrong. That way you don't make the same mistake again. And it's seeing those tiny plays, like how I just mentioned. Like, a, probably there's some of you who are thinking... Okay, calm down, Faker. Really was not that serious. Th I know there's some of you who are thinking, what do you mean, that was lost from the start. And it really wasn't. I could easily 1v2 that. It was just how I played it. That was the problem. Now his flash is going to be up soon. I'm pretty sure his flash is matching my flash, or it's pretty damn close. And his passive isn't on cooldown, so he might try to go for a dive. So I'm actually going to place two barrels under tower. By, placing, by doing that, it ensures that even if he flashes on me and hits one barrel, I still have another barrel to back up on. And since I know he has this wave, I orange immediately as it comes off cooldown now it's harder for him to dive me. Pay attention to my barrel cooldown. I see that it has about half health. Or half its duration left. And now we go back to Volley Bear. By the way, what I did there to escape is I auto and queued the barrel. Auto and queuing the barrel actually maintains your sheen proc and it just makes it easier for you to blow up your barrel instead of you having to wait for it to tick down. So something that I use quite frequently in laning phase. Not so much out of laning phase because by then I have items, level 13, and I'm not in those sticky situations, but inside of laning phase it's an extremely helpful tip to know. Pretty decent farm for myself too. I think Leeson will try and go topside soon. I want to kind of push this and back off. If I'm able to. Hey, my Yasuo is just struggling a little bit. Just a bit. Feeling Lee since top lane now. I'll back up. Actually, if I ping for Gragas, I think he'll come. I can help him out here on this kill.
perfect. Even if he didn't have faith in me, I knew I could kill that. I had faith in myself, and that's what's important there. Even if your team doesn't have faith in you, if you have faith in yourself, you boys can accomplish. You guys can work mir miracles and get yourself back in the game. Okay. Now, I'm actually going to stay since I have doubles and until I have my Triforce, which should be 2683. When I press tab, my Triforce will be 2683 gold. Simple. I bought that item at least 4,000 times, so I should know it by now. And a quick tip, after level 5 and you have Sheen, it only takes one auto on each of the caster minions and then a Q on your barrel for, it, for those caster minions to die. And that works for level 5. Now if you don't have Sheen and you're level 5 or higher, it only takes two autos on the caster minions and then a Q. For you to one shot it. Okay, I have my Triforce. There we go. I knew I won that since I had Triforce. And to kill him, by the way, I'm making the most use of my Sheen procs there. I got a Q on my barrel, I autoed him, I got a Sheen proc on my barrel. So I have two Sheen procs, from one from the Q and one from the placing the barrel, and I actually used the other Sheen proc as an auto attack against him, because my barrel was running down on its timer. So I placed the barrel, then autoed him with that Sheen empowered auto attack, and that's what allowed me to kill him. It's little things like that that can really, really make the difference. When you're playing a champion like Gangplank, you want to one v nine, or you want to win, you want to win laning phase. You don't want to just be a scaling character and it's up to you to make those important plays happen to make those to pay attention to those tiny details now he doesn't have passive because I just killed it in that fight meaning I can take whatever fight I want and I know Lee Sin is bot side so I'm actually going to shove him in He's playing as if he has Lee Sin though, top side. He's pl he's playing really cocky. Could be to fuck with me, but don't want to take that risk until I check my jungler's golems. Typically, when you're top lane and you get ganked, you're gonna get ganked usually from this path over here or from the tri bush. You rarely get ganked from here unless you're playing like Giga Low Elo, like Iron, like Iron Five at least. Typically, a uh, jungler with some game sense will gank from the farthest part to ensure a kill. I'm watching it, I'm watching it. I have my ult upgrade as well on my back. I knew I could kill Lee in there. I had to play. I had to play very slow though, because I'm not too sure if he had kick or not. He has kick. That's why he wants to go into me right now. Oh, I won't say. I won't say. That was a bad play on my part. Ah, I had it. I had it. I I had that leeson by his fucking chode, and then I choked it. Uh, the proper play. I. <laughs> it's not too often that I ever miss a combo on Gangplank, 
especially an easy one like the triple barrel combo, but what you just witnessed there was me missing that combo. <laughs> I apologize to anybody watching that. To anybody who cringed watching that 1v1. Because I know I did. I was cringing the whole time I missed that. On the bright side, you know... Well, what is the bright side? And my mouse speed is... That's why! My mouse speed is 20 freaking higher. I'm so dumb. I was playing like a freaking 7 billion... Whatever it's called. DPI? API? DPI, right? Because API is like annual... Wait, no, it's not annual. It's like... It's like attack? Accuracy? Accur it has to be like accuracy, right? Like your APM, your accuracy per minute? And DPI is like damage per... Wait, no. I, Gangplank. Gangplank is a cool champion. Right now I'm thinking about going Essence Revert into Infinity Edge. Because I want to 1v9 this game. Because my team was inting just a second ago. And I'm not too sure if I trust them yet. So, until I know for sure how my team is, I'm just going to keep going for the carry plank. Nice, bro. And we're at that level 13 at 16 minutes into the game. Really good time for us to hit level 13. And we're at 10 CS a minute. So we've maintained 10 CS a minute, absorbed all jungle pressure, and gotten kills while also winning my own lane, farming, and ulting for my, the rest of my team if they needed it. Uh... Yo, help me! Help me! Ah, uh, that's sad. This Gragas has no faith in his team or himself. The fucker <laughs> keeps running away. <laughs> Even if he dies for me, I can at least place a barrel and get a return kill. But it's alright. It's alright, it's alright. And I keep getting hit by Lee Sin Qs because I'm bad, so... I deserve that death. Alright, I have my TP up if it's needed. It's for bot lane. I'm gonna definitely TP here. I'm gonna TP here though, and not to a minion, so I don't grief my team. Okay, there is one flush. Okay. And the two barrel combos, they're both pretty important. A little slow. Placing my barrels at max range so I know they're guaranteed to be a one part. Ah, oh, fuck, I got a colleague. But we still kill him. If he roamed, he also should have roamed, but it's alright. You can still get a turret at least. I have my executioners. I think once I get Infinity Edge, things will really pick up. This guy heal that. Heal flashed. I'm not too sure if we call you sums. I'm thinking this game of actually going Leandries as well. I'm thinking Leandry is extremely useful, and I have my flash up as well. 
Now, if you're thinking Leandris and, and that I'm crazy for it, I probably am a little crazy, but if you go Leandris as a fourth item after your IE Essence Reaver, that's pretty much all the damage you need. Everything else is just crit chance. So if you go Leandris, Leandris damage actually doubles on movement impaired targets and it does percent max health damage. Now Gangplank's ult is a movement impairing ability. And at level 16 it does 100 damage per wave, not including any extra AP that you might have. It does 100 base damage per cannon barrage. Meaning that the damage that you do with fire at will as well is going to be insane amount of DPS in addition to your barrels. Enough to one-shot people after they survive your barrel combo. So it's extremely strong and extremely, extremely amazing in uh, in close quarter combat. Like if you're talking about a Baron fight, Drake fight and pit. Because I've won games where I literally just press R and I win. Like that's how insane it is. It can turn the tides of a game and relieve a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. Because you have to input less things. You have to input le you only have to worry about hitting your combos really. And the follow up is just your ulti. Very close to my IE though. 1k off, which I I'll be able to get in like four waves or so. And as you can see, it's a very timid um, timid circumstance at the moment because nobody's really fighting. Everybody's just waiting for somebody to attack first or get their vision and such. Which is good, which is fine, because I get to scale up. The second I see sign, like my, my top laner, the, my laner, since I know he's not bot lane trying to match me, he's probably going to try and make a play happen. Now, he's, now that he's roaming bot lane, I'm going to go make a play mid lane. Because I know that Volley Bear is going to go catch the wave. And if he doesn't catch the wave, he's going to miss out on it. And if he misses out on it, more XP and gold in my advantage. And that's why he's level 12 and I'm level 15. Not bad. Okay. And Soraka ulted. Can we get them too? Perfect. I don't think we should Baron. I think we should go... I think we should just get the in hip and call it... Call it a day. Since their jungler is still up. We don't want to take no 50-50. Another important thing, by the way, on Gangplank, you can't stay quiet. You have to be an active member. And in inting. You have to be an active member in, in inting. Because if you're not an active member in inting, then what are you really doing for your team? No, that was my fault there. She had heal up. If she didn't have heal, I could kill her. But she had Soraka and she had her normal heal up. So they're actually going to get buried. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, I made the game more interesting. We make the game somewhat interesting by doing that, by making that play happen. Uh, I mean Drake. I'm gonna build my Leandries next. I'll TP here, because they're going to finish that Baron real soon. You want Pryo for this? I'm here for it. Don't smite it, though. Don't smite it. Okay. 
Okay. Huge Leona up there. Whoa, she's faker. We might be able to end off that now. So that was actually a power play up by me there. I give them Baron, give them a false sense of security, so that I bait them into the fight at Dragon to kill them. Sometimes when you play Gangplank, you just want to have a five head. Which, truthfully, there is no other way to climb. Okay, well, we're gonna have to dip, never mind. Okay. He doesn't have another ward. Okay, we're out. And I'm very close to my Leandries now. Once I get Leandries and I press R in that team fight, it's gonna be crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. I wonder why he took that from me. It's alright though. Very close to this item. Very, very close. Now I don't know what sums they use though, that's the only problem. That is the only problem here. I think I can kill Volley Bear if he tries to 1v1 me here. It might be a little close though. Unless I have time for my orange to come up, and it won't be close at all. Twenty six sixty five, really? Damn! I actually would have had it if I got that scuttle crab. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, damn! I don't want to greed here and die for it. Wherever Soraka's moving, that's where her team is, because she wants to be there for her team. So I can safely assume that Soraka is mid lane with her team. So I'm just going to communicate with my team to not go balling as they in initially wanted to so I can get my item. And now that I have my Leandries, I'm huge. <laughs> Dude, every, almost all the time when I buy this item, when everyone alt account, people <laughs> people just <laughs> ping it. It's just so funny to me, because I I would probably ping myself too. Like, why did this idiot buy a buy a Leandri's torment? Okay, it's good to know I one hit the front wave and the back wave. Just pushing in that mid wave, so we have more pressure for them to clear that. It's all right, we can just go top, top here. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Maybe we can go through mid. Instead of going through top, since they have a little bit of clear, whereas mid lane they can, they're can more likely to overstep. Okay. It's up to me to land a barrel though. I don't see anything else happening if I don't land one. Okay. The owner should have vaulted. Three, two. Perfect. Actually, we can get both. So we'll be able to get both because of that pick. It's good that we chased after it. And I have my ulti upgrade. Off these two minions here. Oh, no. <laughs> not if I crit, but it's alright. Okay. We should get that for free. A 
we'll be able to do that too once it spawns. I kind of want my last whisper item before we fight, or even sell it and get a Morello's instead. That way, it's doing the job of that. Fight help. 560. Morello's is 3k. I'll just buy my last whisper item though. Oh, if I landed that, <gasps> I'm the worst gangplank in there. It's an easy fight, I think, still. They got a little angsty on that, though. Too anxious. I don't like this. Okay. Kate dies, it's a hard fight. Actually, kind of huge. I can stop this myself. Okay, one down. I hit the Lee Sin because he was in front of her. Oh man, I was so close to playing that, so clean. Maybe I should have waited on one more barrel. If I waited on one more barrel, maybe there was a chance. Also, it sucks I didn't have my ulti. Or maybe I did, maybe I tunneled. I don't think I did have it in time though. Alright, let me build the Morellos now. Now, 15 magic pen. Magic damage delta champions. Now, this does do magic damage, right? The passive. It's a burn, and I'm pretty sure the burn is for magic damage as well. My barrels also are going to do magic damage. So if that's doing magic damage, it's going to proc Grievous Wounds. They need to wait on me. Oh, why didn't he ult? Oh, but look at that Leandri's damage. Look at that Morello's damage. Their healing was nothing. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta push bot here. We can't push mid in time. I think we should push bot. But do you guys see that, right? The damage that I do, the amount of damage that you do with this build is greater than anything else, and it's especially great for catch. This build isn't troll. It's good as a... It, this is a perfect situation of it for a 4th, 5th, 6th item. Hmm. Soraka's up, though. He needs to heal. We win this fight. I barrel over wall.
Got it. Oh man. Oh fuck! <gasps> Where did my ult go? Nah, man. Run, we need to run. Oh no, 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 no. I misplayed. I fucking had a spasm. With my barrel there. Ooh, it was good damage though. I literally, my ult, I had a. <laughs> I don't want to blame it on my cold hands, but I had cold hands. Oh, so I was thinking my Q would out smite the least in smite. It was just a little off. I'm thinking about selling my tabbies for a Rabidons. Or even the 30% armor pen item. Lord Dominic's, I think it is. Because if I have that and I have Morellos, it's kind of like building an Executioner's, but that also builds into something, which is my Morellos. And I have that. Yeah, I think that's the play. I think that's the play here. This sells for 770. How much is Lord Dominic's? 28. Hmm. It's Sorry, I'm doing a lot of damage to Jinx, and it's up in 70 seconds. Oh, I didn't hit my barrel, though. We sold for a good amount of time. And my ult will be up for Baron. Alright, I'm gonna get my Lord Dominics. I should sell my. I should have gotten a trinket for a blue trinket, maybe. We're really fucking strong right now. If we had the Infernal Soul, I think I have no doubt in my mind. Wait, Soraka has no ult. Hmm. Sucks. I need to make sure we get mid prior. They're watching, keeping a close eye on it. We're gonna need some sort of flank by the Gragas here. Uh, Leona has to make a play here. Ah, oh, man. That sucks. Dang, Kaylin overstepped one time and she died. Well... <laughs> I guess I am too bad at this game. Either way, it was still a really fun game, and although it's a loss, I'm still going to upload it because, I mean, somebody who uploads only their wins to the YouTube or something is kind of fucking a loser. 
because then you're not you're kind of lying and saying that you win every game when in reality you don't. So this is my loss. This is my loss. I truly do believe that the build that I went was probably one of, if not the best build you can go on late game Gangplank. It was doing a lot of damage at every single point in the game, and it just provided so much. Now, the only questionable thing I think in that build was the Lord Dominix. Maybe I could have bought another crit item or a Rabidon. It says I'm gold 4, but I think this was plat MMR. Well, last season, let me check. Last season, plat 1. Last season, plat 1. Last season, plat. Alright, so it looks like this was high plat MMR, for last season at least. Look at that damage, 63k damage. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, what do you mean, so this is what happens in all of my games? No, it's not. This is not what happens in all of your games where you have the most damage or anything like that, and then your team just ends you. This, I would say, is one of the, I guess, a rare instance, only because I, I would say, honestly, a Kali difference. If it was any other mid laner, it would probably be way less annoying, but Akali was just jumping in, ulting whenever she could. Now, I did do a lot of damage. I did have really good combos. Made a few mistakes here and there. Magic damage dealt was about 30k. Yeah, this is 27k. So, total magic damage dealt was 27k. Physical damage dealt was 42k. So, it's not bad. It was almost a 50% ratio, or at least close to it. And with that 27k damage, that's did more. My my ult damage alone did more than anybody on my team and almost more than their Akali. So that's how strong that build was. Again, the only thing that was questionable was probably the Lord Dominix, because they didn't have too much. Maybe I could have gone uh, Rabidons or, like I said, another crit item and Infinity Edge on top of the Infinity Edge I already had. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this game. It was truly a little bit unfortunate that uh, Jinx and Akali kind of 2v the the whole game. And Soraka was a bit annoying, but hopefully this can teach you a little bit on learning to carry, learning a build path for Gangplank later on in the game, the strengths of Gangplank that not many people may know about, and yeah. So again, unfortunately we lost, but I'm still going to upload this. I still hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I, I thought it was a pretty fun game to play. I'd rather take a fun game that I lose than a boring game that I win, so. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.